2009 15-inch MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement. Please note that the LCD assembly will have to be removed for this replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and go ahead and flip it over. We'll be removing 10 Phillips head screws. Remove the three long Phillips head screws first. Now starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook, remove the seven short Phillips head screws. Once all screws have been removed, go ahead and remove the rear panel. LCD screen assembly removal. Disconnect the LVDS cable by lifting up the lock lever and pulling the cable out. Be gentle, this connection is very fragile. We'll need to remove the LVDS cable bracket. It's attached with one Phillips head screw. Once unscrewed, you can move the bracket out of the way. Disconnect the Wi-Fi and EyeSight cable. It's a single cable. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are, screw that are holding down the bracket. Remove the bracket. Flip over and hang the MacBook over the table ledge. We'll need to remove six T6 hinge screws. There are three on each side. Lift up the LCD assembly after the screws have been removed. It is now free. Removing the old airport card. Begin by sliding the antenna cover from left to right and then gently prying it up on the left side. Your airport card is located right here. Remove one Phillips head screw from the Wi-Fi cable guard. Now gently lift up and remove the Wi-Fi cable guard. You can now disconnect the Wi-Fi card from the Wi-Fi cable. There are two Phillips head screws that are holding down the Wi-Fi card. Unscrew the right screw, then gently disconnect the antenna cables, and now you can unscrew the left side screw. The airport card is now free and you can gently remove it. Install the new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Place your new airport card in the following orientation. Go ahead and attach the right side Phillips head screw. Now you can go ahead and attach the left side Phillips head screw. Reattach the main Wi-Fi cable to the back of the card. Gently prying it in with a screwdriver if you have to. Now you can go ahead and click in the antennas. Reattach the Wi-Fi card main cable security clip. Reattach the antenna cover, positioning it about a quarter of an inch to the right of its original position. Tuck in any cables that are sticking out, firmly press down on the clip, and shift it over to the left.
LCD screen assembly installation. Insert the assembly into the MacBook. We'll need to fasten one T6 screw on each hinge in the center. This will allow us to align the LCD assembly properly. Once the two alignment screws have been inserted, reinsert the other four T6 screws. Close the MacBook and put it back into position. Reinstall the Wi-Fi cable bracket. First sift the screw through the Wi-Fi cable. Then you can attach it to the bracket. Make sure that the Wi-Fi cable is going underneath the bracket as the bracket is there to protect it from moving around. Trace out the Wi-Fi cable, tucking it in, reconnect it to the logic board. Install the LVDS cable bracket with one Phelps head screw. Again, make sure the bracket is going over the LVDS cable. The bracket protects the LVDS cable from being disconnected from the logic board. This could cause screen flickering. Reconnect the LVDS cable to the logic board. Make sure to be very gentle as this socket is easily damageable. Install the rear panel. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Now the seven short Phillips head screws. 